I've met many people, sometimes I'm impressed by people in the poorest countries, in the poorest countries, but their masajid are so full. Their masajid are so full. I visited West Africa and trust me, Salatul Fajr, as I was entering, trying to enter the masjid, it was packed, packed, full, completely. And I'm thinking to myself, Salatul Fajr, is there something happening? There was no talk or lecture, nothing. No one even knew that I was going to be there or anyone else was going to be there for that matter. But the brother with me told me, no, my brother, if you want to come into the masjid for Salatul Fajr, you will have to come here 20 minutes before the Adhan. And I looked at myself and I said, our countries, where our life is slightly easier. In Salatul Fajr, there are three guys, four guys. And our life is so easy. We don't want it that we lose the Akhirah and those who didn't have the dunya actually get it. Don't let that happen. Don't be from among those who you had a luxurious life here. Everything was very good. You know, you had the beautiful houses, beautiful cars, beautiful jobs, beautiful food, beautiful everything, but you lost in the hereafter. And we don't want to be replaced by those who had nothing in this world. They had to walk five kilometers to get a bucket of dirty water to heat it up in order to be able to drink from it. And yet they earn the Akhirah. They will be the VIPs on the day of judgment and we lose out. We all want to be the VIPs. We should. And that's why I decided to talk about this. I'm so inspired by people that I've seen who give Salah so much of preference.